it's pretty funny. And I, I agree, I think it is pretty funny. But, yo! The One Piece card game has become more intriguing with set four, the kingdoms of intrigue. Shrippin' time, that's what it's doing here. That's what we're doing. We're gonna take this knife and slice this box. And today, we're talking about how helpful it is to recognize that you don't know anything. That's not true. You know something, but you don't know everything. And the second that you think you know everything, you can't learn about that thing anymore. So it's really good to not know. And it's kind of fun sometimes, right? Because, like, what's the fun in knowing everything? It's kind of like how I felt blessed when I was watching the One Piece live action. Like, I knew the story. I knew it was going to happen. But also not knowing exactly how it was going to fold a uh, play out. Also, I really want to get the Sabo alt art. I have not pulled the Sabo alt art, and I feel like it's about time. I haven't pulled a Dofi alt art either, but I don't care about that one as much. I really want to see the Sabo alt art with my eyes. I haven't seen it since I opened it in Japanese, and I barely remember that. I think I only pulled one. Oh, yeah, and this car this video is brought to you, a message from our sponsors by of Kaizoku Cards is a sponsor of this video. So please check out KaizokuCards.com. I would not be shrimping as much as I do if it weren't for Kaizoku Cards. Feel free to go over there and support my creativity because Kaizo cards is actually me completely it's just me i just make everything over there so check it out make some cards got lots of shorts about them but as i was talking about in today's video um yeah i think like if you assume that you know stuff it kind of limits the amount that you get to learn about that thing it's one of the reasons why i like being a dentist so much actually is because it's pretty much my best joke anybody that sees me and i tell them they're i'm a dentist that it's very rare that people don't laugh at that. And I'm not saying like that's a bad thing. I think it's hilarious also that I'm a dentist because I totally don't look like a dentist. Booger man. This is booger man number two. I do actually really like this alt art. I think it's cool. This guy flicking his boogie. Um, you know, I think it is, uh, it's a great honor to be a dentist for sure. I love the job. I love my practice. I love doing what I do. But it's also like people assume that I'm not a dentist, right? Or they don't they may assume that I'm something else but they're definitely not assuming that I am a dentist so when they hear that I'm a dentist it's pretty funny and I, I agree I think it is pretty funny but yo <laughs> now that's that's pretty funny wow I wanted Sabo I guess this is the one that I get. I, honestly, I kind of wanted the alt art a lot, but another manga Sabo, I can't, that's, wow, two mangas in a set. I haven't done that since set one. That's kind of wild. David got the first one, but now it was my turn to pull a manga. Wow, I have not pulled a manga with my own hands since set two English. That's pretty cool. I don't know if there's anything else in this box. I'm fine if there isn't, but let's just check it out and see what else comes in the box that where you pull this. But yeah, I was not assuming that I would get a manga Sabo. So that felt pretty good. Cause right when you don't assume something and then it does happen, it feels a lot better than if you're assuming that it would and it doesn't, you know what I mean? So I think it's healthy to just like look at stuff in the world and recognize that like you don't know what it is. Um, and, and it's, I mean, it's good to have some idea, right? It's, it's fun to get excited about something because you know something about it. And it's good to study those things and let those build up and and learn and develop and grow and all that. But as soon as you start labeling stuff and you're like, I know what the, I know exactly what that is, you don't. And really like Rosinante. So you do get a secret rare and a Oh, because Sabo's not a secret. That's why. So he takes an SR slot in the box, basically. I'm assuming. Like you don't pull another you don't pull another shiny, really shiny cards in these, right? There's only three packs left. Let's just ooh, shrip them and explore. Make sure that we have our numbers here. So this is what we pulled in one box. It was the Sabo, which is basically taking an AA slot, or an SR AA. And then, yeah, that's it. And our Blessum. That's wild. I just can't believe I just pulled a Manga Sabo while I was talking about not assuming things. And I was assuming that maybe I was going to pull a regular Sabo because I asked for it in this video. And that's generally how it goes when I'm shrimping is I, you know, I put in a, a request to the universe and it seems to deliver oh, frequently. But I still got another box. So I'm going to strip in the second box now that that's, that's wild. I'm just going to leave those right there. That's, that's crazy. Boogerman, Rosinante, and here's our other box. And you know, it's done, I think it's done wonders for me in life because um, it's allowed me a lot more space to be curious. 
I think curiosity is a, is a great um, a great thing to explore because um, it's one thing to be interested and it's another thing to be interesting but bless them I think if you can take your interest and maintain some level of using it to to gauge the things that you want or the things that you're exploring you get to learn more about that thing and most things that are cool they're really not figured out like there's still so much more to figure out about it and the thing that makes those even cooler is the more people get to figure out more about what they're interested in um take like my card printing for example at cries over cards a lot of people i work with david from davidson tcg and we work together a lot and a lot of people are like hey dude why are you working with him like you, you know you're like you're like working with your competition and sure yes there's an element to which we compete in what we do i'm not going to argue with that however it's really great to have somebody that's in the same space as me doing the same thing that I can work closely with because we're able to push what we're doing so much. Like, I do think the cards I'm making are at a point where they're different than anything else that exists in the world because I've, I've innovated the, the technique and I've innovated the material and all the pieces basically, I've gotten them to a point where I do feel they really are unique and that they stand on their own and they are their own thing. Um, however, I also think that it's important to keep pushing what I'm doing and trying to get into new spaces, try new things, get new designs, get new approaches, techniques, all that. There's our Dofi. There's Dofi. Yes. That's all the alt art leaders. I think we pulled all the alt art leaders now. I call that a huge success. Thank you for finally showing up, dude. What a crazy, what a, what craziness. Dofi and an Maga Sabo. I had I would have never assumed that this was gonna happen like this just like that um, but yeah you know it allows you to it allows me to keep pushing what I'm doing I can go out a lot farther I still do want the alt art Sabo and I think that would be really cool but I can keep pushing what I'm doing and and I have some comp some healthy competition with a friend and we can kind of push each other and innovate things and try new techniques like the double strip i'm actually i'll show you guys this new technique that i've been working on with my friend we've been practicing this a lot but instead of stripping one you take two packs see two packs double strip them kind of wild anything cool there nope anything cool here nope but it was a double strip them so that's really cool you know that that for sure i would say that is for sure it does take a little longer to like grab all the cards and sort them but i think i think it, should i try a triple strip them actually i don't know if triple strip them's even well, this seems like this seems like pretty crazy, but I guess if you're going to double, you might as well try triple. I don't know if it will work, but there's only one way to find out. Not that great. I could use some work. I at least, you know, I'm heading in the right direction with it, so that's cool. Anything there? Nope. And, and this is like a totally different kind of like strip and reveal. Like, what's in the pack? Oh yeah, Miss All Sunday. That's cool. Anything here? Nope. Not even close. But then getting the rest of the cards out is kind of not that great. I, I think I think a single strip them is more is more gratifying. But I do feel like I have the double strip them technique more advanced than the triple strip them technique. Obviously, strip -ing a single pack. I feel like I have a lot a lot of it figured out. I'd say I'm at about 89% of it figured out. All right, I'm going to double strip these last two packs and then we have a bless them. I'll just do a single strip them on that. See, that was actually pretty good. So I'm getting better, you know, and when you practice and you believe in yourself, you get shiny cards that come out of the packs. Wait, is that, is there, there's nothing else in these, I don't think. Once you get that, I think this bless them is bunked. Bunk, bless them, strip them. Wow. It's practice. Yeah. Anyway. Pretty good, pretty good series of boxes. That's I will take those gladly. I got the Altar Leader I was looking for. I am not looking for another Akainu, but you know that's just how the cookie crumbles sometimes. And the Sabo, yeah. I didn't pull any laws. I would love to pull a law. Maybe on stream. I'm gonna do a stream at some point. Or maybe the stream already happened by the time this video posted. But yeah, just you know, I think it's healthy to not assume stuff and recognize that the more you learn about something, the more you can recognize that you don't know about it. And that's really exciting because then you get to continue expanding and growing your horizons. I am a dentist. I can't end without doing a dental tooth tip. My dental tooth tip to you would be if you're considering straightening your, your teeth, I think it's worth it. And the reason why besides from aesthetic concerns, which can make a huge difference in your life and make you, you know, feel a lot more excited about yourself, which is great. Um, 
it's easier to clean. Like when with teeth aren't overlapping and you have nice even spaces between them, it's a lot easier to clean between your teeth. So talk to your dentist about that. If it's something you're interested in, it's worthwhile investigating. And I'll see y'all in the next one.